Buck Showalter is a manager who I realize managed both of you guys. Mm-hmm. Now, you both seem to symbolize him as a guy who, like, pays attention to every detail and he'll give you a look that'll tell you you <laughs> suck today or you messed up. Andy, what do you think about Buck as a manager? What did he teach you? Because you <laughs> played for nine teams, so you were all over it, and he's probably one of the more knowledgeable managers that you had. I mean, he's smart. And uh, one of the things that I know he loves to do is control almost everything. He, he just uh, like to be aware in any detail. So I think um, he's respect to the technology, but he's old school also. So I, I think that's a, a big combination right there because uh, he can get out of the way uh, with a lot of situations. Uh, putting those combinations together. Your experience, Figgy, with Andy. What team was, was it with, with you? With Andy? Uh, we go back. You were Baltimore, but what team did Buck manage Buck was, you? for me, was the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. So Diamondbacks. He, you want to talk about giving control. He was given full control of the Diamondbacks. <laughs> they were a brand new expansion team. that was team. your first year in the big leagues, First year right? in the big leagues. They had five different uniforms, including purple pinstripes. That was what like a called? little purple pinstripes. Pur- like a shout Say out. It, ten times fast. it was like a shout out to the Yankee ties. You know, he wanted to have pinstripe uniform, which didn't make sense out, out in the desert. But we had a purple pinstripe uniform as well. Um, he was in, in, on top of every single detail. I remember we wa- Tony Womack was very coveted for his speed and for his ability to play second base, give good at bats, but his speed was second to none. And Buck Showalter, we're at spring training day two. And we're doing rundowns, and we're doing pickoffs and stuff like that. And he goes, so say you've got a guy who's a burner, like, a, I don't know, Tony Womack. Like, wouldn't that be a huge asset to the team? And he's talking to us like this while we're doing the drills. And we would do the drills, and he goes, yeah, but could you imagine, like, twice as fast, like I say, a Tony Womack? And he's doing that nonstop. Next day, they made a trade for Tony Womack from the Pittsburgh Pirates. So this guy's on top of the game. He's knowledgeable in the game. Even when he was out of the game as a manager, he studied the game. So it was not just about the analytics that, oh, the old man can't understand it, but he has a gut feel for everything because he's experienced so many things in his career, the ups and downs. And also, you know, he's come very close and teams have won the championship the year after he's left. I don't want to see that happen to him again, unless I'm the manager, but I would love for Buck Showalter to get his opportunity. And I think he will here with this team. He deserves a goddamn ring. Like, it's crazy that he leaves, they win. And it's not his fault. No. Like, people are like, why when he leaves, does the team win? Well, it's not Buck's fault. They got better players, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's just unfortunate luck, I guess, because he's a genius.